Hello everyone, quite a few of you already know me as Jade. So today I'm doing a guided tour of Bungie Town and I'm going to show you where all the broadsheets are. These are the gold little plaques that you would have seen around the town. They're about an A4 sized, um, do a little information of bits around the town. It is quite a long tour this one. It is going to take you, if you're doing it on foot, about two hours. But we'll start the tour at the car park opposite the library. The library is just behind me here. That is also where the tourist information is. This is the best car park to start from at Lower Holland Street. So where the tour starts is right opposite the car park, up that little alleyway where there's some metal railings. It's called Turnstile Lane. I'll meet you over there and the tour will start from there. After you've crossed the road from the car park, we will start at this place called Turnstile Lane. So we'll start from here and we'll go all the way to the very end of the lane to Upper Holland Street. So part, you'll just come out that lane that was just the, all there, which is Turnstile Lane. So now we're in Upper Holland Street and where we're going to go is up to the end there about where that car is and that tree and that is Emmanuel Church. So as you were to come up Holland Street, Upper Holland Street from that point down there, you'll come to this place, which is the Emmanuel Church. This is where the second broadsheet is, is actually inside the church. So if it's not open, you may not be able to get to this one. This is the second broadsheet that you'd find in Bungie, just inside Emmanuel Church. Next broadsheet is back down to where we've just came from, all the way along, and you can just sit on the wall on the edge of that red building there. So this part of the tour takes us to the third broadsheet, which is outside Keisha's hairdressers. From this point, we're carrying up the street here, up to St Mary's Street, which we'll find our fourth one, just on the corner of the wall in front of us. So at this point of tour, outside St Edmund's Catholic Church at the school, you'll find our fourth broadsheet. After you finish with this one, the next one is carry on down St Mary's Street, down to the War Memorial, and I'll pick you up from that point. So at this point, you met up with us at the town, at the War Memorial outside St Mary's Church. The next broadsheet is just beside the phone box here. So after this broadsheet, the next one is still to carry along St Mary's Street. The next one is to come around the corner here. And the very next one is just outside the pet store, above the loading only sign. After this one, the next one is just in between that alleyway there between the bakers and I'll meet you over at that point. So on the next hut tour, this one that's in the alleyway, it's just on the side of the bakers. So after the one by the bakery and the butter cross, the next one we go to is Bygot's Castle. I thought this was Bigot's Castle, but the locals have corrected me by saying it's Bygot's. So if we go through the alleyway that is just over there, I'll meet you at the end of that yellow brick wall. So after you come through the alleyway there, this then goes to the Bungie Castle. That also it has Bygot's Kitchen in it. I thought this was Bigot's Kitchen, but the locals have uh, corrected me. At this point, the next two are actually a little bit harder to find. They're actually beside the side against the wall against the side. There's actually two here, one after each other. But at this point, it's the ideal time to get yourself a tea, coffee or something to eat. So, RTV was stop for a quick cake, a cup of tea or something to eat. We're then going to carry on this footpath up here and carry on to the end and I'll meet you at that point at the corner there. So at this point you're at the corner in front of the castle and this is called the Castle Bailey. And the next part of the tour we go to is down through this little alleyway just in behind that white tree between that building and the wall is. And that is where another broadsheet is. I'll meet you halfway down the alleyway. So halfway down this alleyway is where you find the next broadsheet. It's just here on the side of the wall. At this point, we will be carrying on down through these, between these parts, and across the car park where I'll catch you. So we'll just come down the pathway there, across here, and where we're going to go is onto Ersham Street, where those two men are. At this point in the tour, you've just come down this pathway here into Ersham Street. 
That way heads towards Ersham itself with our sorting office on the right, mermaid chip shop down there on the left. If we go back the other way, next part we're going to stop is where that building is with the white windows. And that's where the next broadsheet is. I'll meet you over that point. So at this point in the tour, we've got to this red building with the white bricks. The next one is just there in the centre of the screen. It's gone very slightly pink and that is Court Bricks. If you carry on along the building here, you then actually come into Cork Bricks. If you need to have a sit down, there's an ideal seat there. And this is Cork Bricks. I'll meet you just the other side. So at this point of the tour, you've just come through Cork Bricks. You may notice at the very top of this archway, there is the black dog. This is the Bungie black dog, pretty famous. That will be on a separate video. After you come through here, this is the ideal time to cross the road is just here. Cross the road and carry along so you get to that black building just there, that is Brady Lane, and I'll meet you at that point. So you've just come along this way from Court Bricks, you come to this one, by this black building, and this is quite an interesting broadsheet. This is about the smuggling in Bungie. Apparently the sellers in this area are all interlinked in together. Whether this is true or not, I can't guarantee, but whichever, it's a very good story. If we carry along the streets here, this is where the next broadsheet just is. It is literally round the corner on the Mayhill Antiques. And this is about the Market Dray. Another very interesting broadsheet. Has gone slightly pink due to the weather, but it is on a pink building, so it does actually match and look quite nice. At this point on the tour, you're still on Broad Street. So near the Market Dray and Brady Lane is this building, which is the Bungie Town Council. You would have seen this. There's a handy cash point there. But also above this building, in that piece there in the centre of the screen, is the local museum. At the current time, you do have to book one hour slots. After this point, we are going to carry along up Broad Street here to Fisher Theatre, which is just on the left. As you would have just come from that way, this is Fisher Theatre. Just around the corner here, which is opposite near Dragonfly Motorcycles, is this broad sheet for the Fisher Theatre, Bungie Arts and Theatres. There's also a handy seat here if it, it, you're a little bit tired at this point. There is Dragonfly Motorcycles, which seems to be quite an old sign on the end of the wall here. After this point, we're carrying along Broad Street. And we come to our next broad sheet, which is on the side of Three Tons Pub. Just there on the side. At this point, if you do need a drink or anything, this is the ideal last real point to get a drink. If the pub's open, get yourself a swift half or a glass of wine or something. After you finish at Three Tons Pub, we're then gonna carry on to the end of Broad Street here and go down Bridge Street. So we'll turn left, and this is Bridge Street. And where I'll meet you is just where the speed limit is in the middle of the road there, I'll meet you at the path at the side. So you've just come from this way on Bridge Street, come down the hill. At this point on this house here, there used to be a broad sheet on the end, but that one has disappeared for the time being, but it is hoped to be redone. But if you carry on up this little narrow little road here, you'll come up to the um, well at the very end of the street. It's quite an interesting little well that's there. It's called a Roman well. It's right at the very end. You can't actually go onto the well, but you can see the area. Once you've finished here, we'll carry on down Bridge Street till we get to that red house down the bottom. At this point, we're at the Red House down Bridge Street. The very next broad sheet is on that purple house there called the Smoke House. So at this point, you come to the purple house, which is the Smoke House. And this is the next broad sheet you see. Very interesting one as well. Please be aware this is a private residence, so please do not lock off walls and windows. But the Smoke House, the lady here, does have a nice display in her window. After you've been here, we're gonna cross the bridge on that side and there is another broad sheet at the very end of the bridge. So at this point, as you cross the bridge, you might like to admire the views. This is the Norfolk Suffolk border as well. On the very end of this bridge is another broad sheet, which is dedicated also to the chicken roundabout, Gordon his name was, and he looked after the chickens. Name was Gordon Knowles he was. Unfortunately, he died a few years ago and um, this is all that we've got to remember him by at the current moment. Once you finish with this carry-on, cross the bridge to the end, and we're going to cross the street at this point, at that black house, and I'll meet you there. So at this point of the tour, you would have crossed over just here. 
And now we're going to go down this little place, which is called Falcon Lane, and it goes on to Falcon Meadow, and I'll meet you at the gate. So at this point, this is what's known as Falcon Meadow. To get through, go past this very lovely statue, wooden carving. Through here, past the garden, and into the sty. At this point, you'll see one of three broadsheets at Falcon Meadow. This is the first one. Once you've seen this, go through the sty, and I'll meet you just on the corner there. At this point, I'm on the tour. I'm just at the corner where the bench is. This hard path goes all the way along to the stave at the bridge, which is just at the end there. Alternatively, if you want a more nature view, you can come off the path here, follow the trees around where that lady's just walking with her dog, all the way around the back there where there's a pond, just here. The next broad sheet is just over here amongst that grass. It's a nice little walk along there. Please be aware at this time of the year in the summer, the stinging nettles can be a bit tall, but there is a broad sheet over there. At this point, if you've chosen the grass route by the trees, there is a very handy bench here in the shade. And if you carry on going round, you'll come round to the pond and I'll meet you there. At this there. point behind these stinging nettles is a small pond. Sometimes you can see it quite clear, but you can walk along the side here and see the side of the pond. Alternatively, you can just carry on going through the grass part along these trees where the next broad sheet just is. And also some very interesting statues along here. These are interesting wooden statues from fallen trees that have been cut. So at this point in the tour, you might want to sit on the bench where you'll see the next board sheet, which is just after those wooden statues. If at this point you'd chosen to go around by the trees, would have just come out just here. If you was on a hard path, you'd come here to where the sound of the water is, which is at the stage where this bridge is. At this point, if the weather has been dry, you can carry along this footpath here all the way along to where we have a very nice wavy bench at the end. Or well, if there's people sitting on it, sit on the other one. At this point, we're then going to cross this bridge and go over to the Riverside Centre. At this point at all, you would have just crossed the bridge, come along that footpath there, up to the Riverside Centre. There is a disabled toilet on the corner there if you need it. At this point, the next board sheet you'll come across is here on the side of the building. This is the Riverside Centre, as you may see. The next part of the tour, we'll go up to that white building there, which is the mill, and I'll meet you at that point. So as you've just come from that way, from the Riverside Centre, we're now at this white building. So this is Bungie Water Mill, also known as Bardoff's Mill. I think I've got that spelling and name correct, but if I haven't, I'm very sorry. Someone will correct me. This is a private residence, so please do not knock on any of the doors and windows and please keep quiet around here, as it is a residential area. This part opposite is apparently the original stave where the wherries used to come up and tie up and then there was vault in the water, from what I was told. So they could be unloaded in this section of the water mill, or loaded. A bit unsure if that was one or the other. At this point as well, there is another section here which goes back to the river all overgrown which is original, the Bungie one-way system for the boats. So they will come down here, then back up across there, and then join the main river, the other side of those trees, and back down towards Beckles. This is the opposite side to the mill, where you've just walked from. If you're carrying up this road, we'll come up to another old building, and there to the right-hand side, so you go through that gap just there. At this point, still in Stays Road, we buy what I think is another old mill building. Someone will correct me at some point. That's been tastefully converted into flats. Again, this is a prize at Revisant. But we'll go up the end of the road here and bear to the right and into Trinity Street, and I will meet you at that point. So this is the boat we've just come from, the Stave. And we're up here at the Stave Business Centre Suite. And at this point is Lavender Cottage on the right there, and we're carrying up Trinity Street. So at this point we've got Trinity Street to here, at a stave close in Trinity Gardens. We're going to carry on up this road to the end here and bear to the right. So now we've bared right into the next part of Trinity Street, which is the one-way system. We'll go along this wall here, all the way to the very end of it.
and we'll come to here and we'll come to the very last broadsheet which is Holy Trinity Church. So this church is quite an unusual church in that it has a round tower. So this is the Diocese of St Edmundsbury and Ipswich. There we go. At this point at all, we're carrying along this footpath up to that red brick building there. We've arrived at the red brick building, opposite All Hallows. And we're now opposite St Mary's Church, which is the back end. And we're carrying along this footpath here, which goes all the way to the War Memorial. At this point at all, you've just come along that footpath. We're now at the front of St Mary's. There's a very nice clock on the front and a bell. We're also at the back end of where the War Memorial is, back on, in Bunky Town Centre. At this point, you can either go around the town again, have a little look in the shops, things like that, or you can head back to the car. So hopefully you have liked my tour that I've done today around Bungie. On your way back to the car, there is another little place called Dinky's Garden that you might want to have a quick look at, which I'll just add at the end of this video. So this is now the end of the tour, sitting in Dinky's garden. So hopefully you've enjoyed the tour just as much as I have. It's 2.2 miles long. It takes about two and a half hours to walk around it. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. My email address will be at the very end in the text. Or if you want to and you've seen this on Facebook, just leave me a message. If you do happen to find any broadsheets that I've missed, then please do let me know. Thank you very much. Goodbye.